Hey guys, happy Tuesday, and we are working on our deadlifts and seated box jumps. So again, lots of weeks of this building up. This week, the deadlifts will be a little bit heavier with less reps, same number of box jumps. But remember, so most important thing here, working on speed as we pull off the ground, keeping that nice flat back, feet under the hips. Okay, when you set up, lots of tension, fast pull, squeeze your butt at the top, okay? As you go back down, pushing the hips back, all right, keeping tension in the hamstrings. Okay, so we're gonna be doing only three reps there, and then we're gonna walk over to our seated box jump. Main thing we talk about here is exploding and catching our body as high as possible. So this box is kind of low for me, so watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to jump and land fully extended. So I'm jumping my body as high as possible. Of course, you can challenge yourself by stacking this up as well, or a combination of the two, but really just focusing on exploding up as high as you can from that seated position. So that's gonna be our strength. Again, you should be comfortable with this if you've been coming in for the last few weeks. Our conditioning, two parts. First part is just biking for calories, okay? Uh, you're gonna see some notes that we're gonna be adding in to help improve your aerobic capacity. The idea here is most people when they bike in the rest, they are doing nothing, okay? They lay on the ground, recovering. We're gonna add some notes if you want to improve your aerobic capacity over the long term versus just trying to get a good score for the day. We're gonna advise you to be doing some type of movement during the rest to keep your body moving. This is the idea of training your body. Again, we think aerobic capacity is longer duration to um, be able to keep moving even when you're tired, improving your recovery. And this approach, if you apply it in your training, should help you in the long run. So look for those notes in, um, on Wattify. After that, we're gonna finish off with a uh, second part conditioning. It's gonna be bear hug walk with a heavy um, ball or sandbags. You're gonna be holding it at your chest and you're gonna be doing a walk with that weight. When you come back, drop the weight. You're gonna be doing jumping lunges. So back knee touches the ground. You're gonna keep the chest up, jump and switch legs. Every time your knee touches the ground, and again, really focus on trying to stay balanced so you get to push off both feet. If you're too far forward, right, you're only gonna get that front leg. So pushing off both feet. If you can't do a jump, it's normal, it's very hard, just do a standing lunge that way, okay? Uh, we're gonna be partnering that. The last movement will be alternating v up. So starting in that open body position, we're gonna be alternating our third movement. So uh, that will be our workout for today, guys. See you tomorrow.